Hello friends, so welcome to Vidish Academy and here in this presentation we are going to discuss a concept called pair of straight lines and a wedge. We will be discussing about equations of bisectors of angles between the lines L1 equal to 0 and L2 is equal to 0. So let us assume a line L1 as A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0 and L2 as A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0. So these both are the given lines and now let us represent this in an coordinate plane. So here these lines are represented on coordinate plane by using L1 and L2 and now let us assume the bisectors of the angles formed by these lines. So these are the bisectors which intersects the angles formed between L1 and L2. And here there is a point P which equidistants from both the lines L1 and L2. So let us assume its coordinate as P x1 comma y1 which is a point on the pair of lines bisecting the angles. So here the length of PM as well as PN is nothing but the perpendicular distance of a point P to both the lines L1 and L2. And make a note that P equidistance from both the lines which is represented by PM is equal to PN. So as we are using perpendicular distance, let us write the formula which is mod AX1 plus BY1 plus C divided by and the root a square plus b square. So we need to make use of this formula to write the length of the line segment PM where we need to use the line L1 and the point P. So here we get a1 into x1 which is the coordinate of P plus of b1 into the coordinate of y which is y1 plus of c1 divided by and the root a square that is here a1 square plus b1 square which is equal to mod the distance pn which is from a point p to the line l2 so here we get a2x1 plus b2y1 plus c2 divided by and the root a2 square plus b2 square so therefore, we can see that the locus of a point P x1 comma y1 will be equal to a1x plus b1y plus c1 divided by under root a1 square plus b1 square which is equal to plus or minus a2x plus b2y plus c2 divided by under root a2 square plus b2 square. So here this is the condition to find the equations of bisectors of angles between the lines L1 and L2. And now let us proceed and discuss an example. So here we need to find the equations of bisectors of obtuse angle between L1 and L2 is equal to 0. So these are the given lines. So let us name this as equation 1 and this equation as equation 2. And then we need to find the equations of bisectors. So let us make use of the condition. So here we get x plus y minus 5 divided by under root a square that is 1 square which is 1 plus b square is again 1. Which is equal to plus or minus the second line which is x minus 7y plus 7 divided by under root a square that is 1 square which is 1 again plus of minus 7 whole square will be 49. So that implies we get your x plus y minus 5 divided by 2 is equal to plus or minus x minus 7y plus 7 divided by under root 50 which can be written as 5 root 2. So here root 2 root 2 gets cancelled and then transferring 5 to the other side we get 5x plus 5y minus 25 is equal to plus or minus x minus 7y plus 7. So from this line we can consider two conditions. So let us use the first condition and try to find the angle. 
So here we get 5x plus 5y minus 25 is equal to positive that is x minus 7y plus 7 and then transferring all the terms to the one side we get 5x minus x which will be 4x then here 5y plus 7y will become plus 12y and then minus 25 minus 7 will become minus 32 is equal to 0. And here by taking 4 as the common factor, we get x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0. And now let us name this equation as equation 3. And now let us take the next condition that is negative 1. So here we get 5x plus 5y minus 25 is equal to minus of x minus 7y plus 7. So that implies by considering all the terms on the one side, we get 5x plus x will be 6x and then plus 5y minus 7y will be minus 2y then minus 25 plus 7 will be minus 18 is equal to 0. So here we can take 2 as the common factor and simplify. So we get 3x minus y minus 9 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of a straight line and now let us name this as equation 4. And now what we need to do is we need to find the angle between equation 1 and equation 3 in order to know whether the angle is obtuse or not. So from equation 1 we get a1 is equal to 1 and b1 will be equal to 1 and then c1 will be equal to minus 5 and from equation 3 we get a2 as 1, b2 as 3 and c2 as minus 8. So we already know the angle between pair of straight lines is given by the formula tan theta is equal to mod a1 b2 minus a2 b1 divided by a1 a2 plus b1 b2. And now let us substitute all the values. So here we get a1 b2 that is 1 into 3 which is 3 minus of a2 into b1 that is 1 into 1 which is 1 divided by a1 a2 that is 1 into 1 which is 1 plus of b1 b2 which is 3 so that implies we get here mod 2 by 4 which is nothing but tan theta is equal to 1 by 2 as tan theta is less than 1 therefore we can say that equation 3 that is nothing but the equation of a bisector is a acute angle bisector so the next equation that is equation 4 is a obtuse angle bisector and here we need to find the equation of a bisector of obtuse angle. So this equation is the equation of a bisector of obtuse angle. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website, VTG Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.